Have you noticed there's been a lot of talk circulating around social media about watching out for red flags and cutting off toxic people from your life lately? The cancel culture of today has made us all more accountable than ever for how we act online and in real life. The problem with being toxic, however, is that you can be toxic without even knowing it or doing it intentionally. That's why it's important for all of us to check ourselves from time to time and take a good honest look at how our actions impact those around us. Because no one's perfect. And while it might be a painful truth to admit, sometimes we even hurt the ones we love without meaning to. With that said, here's your worst personality trait based on your personality type. ISTP, the virtuoso. Because of their spontaneous and relaxed nature, sometimes ISTPs get into trouble with their friends and family for being unreliable. They can be unapologetically stubborn about things and can easily come off as insensitive to others with their use of logic and rationality. They also tend to dislike commitment because they focus too much on the moment and are prone to risky, antagonistic behaviors when bored. ISFP, the adventurer. Similar to the ISTP, ISFPs dislike for long-term commitments and plans make them too unpredictable to be dependable. They love to live in the moment, so they're not very adept at planning their futures or reflecting on their past. Thus, the ISFP's worst trait is that they struggle to learn from their mistakes. ESTP, the entrepreneur. ESTPs are the life of the party because of their bold, fun-loving, spontaneous personality. That being said, they can sometimes be spontaneous to a fault and put themselves at risk in unfamiliar places or with unfamiliar people. Because once an ESTP sees an opportunity to fix a problem, to advance, to have fun, all rules and expectations fly out the window. ESFP, the entertainer. Next, the ESFP has somewhat of the opposite problem with the ESTP. That is, they think about other people too much and not enough about themselves. They can become compulsive people pleasers because of their emotionally sensitive and conflict averse nature. ESTJ, the executive, dedicated and strong-willed. ESTJ's main strengths lie in their direct, logical, and reliable nature. But this can also be their downfall if they run with it too far and become too inflexible, close-minded, and judgmental. They're also notorious for being workaholics who find it difficult to relax and express their true feelings. ISFJ, the defender, warm and protective. ISFJs are all about making people happy and keeping the peace. They value harmony and tradition, but at their worst, they can become extremely rigid in their views and their support for authority figures and the status quo. Reluctant to change and too altruistic, ISFJs struggle to break tradition and rock the boat, even when things clearly aren't working anymore. ISTJ, the logistician, responsible, dutiful, organized, and practical. ISTJs love to create and enforce order, so much so that their worst personality trait is being too much by the book. Their factual decision-making process makes them resistant to new ideas. If it ain't broke, why fix it? and usually do not respect people who are either willfully ignorant or too clouded by their own emotions to separate facts from opinions. ESFJ, the console. The ultimate people person, an ESFJ feels best when they have strong relationships with others, which makes them empathetic leaders and compassionate communicators. At their worst, however, ESFJs can use their keen sense of awareness of other people's emotions to manipulate or bully them. They're also notorious for caring too much about their social status and influence and rarely stepping out of their own comfort zones for fear of being too different. ENFP, the campaigner. ENFPs are known as true free spirits because of how outgoing, open-minded, and enthusiastic they are about life. But these strengths can also be weaknesses as it makes them unfocused and disorganized. Their adventurous and idealistic nature also makes them restless at times and easily dissatisfied with their life. INFP, the mediator. What makes INFPs unique is also their most fatal flaw, their strong sense of idealism. Quiet and unassuming on the outside, INFPs have a vibrant imagination, deep feelings, and a strong sense of passion. So much so that they often lose themselves in daydreams most of the time and tend to have too unrealistic of standards for themselves and others. In this way, INFPs are constantly setting themselves up for disappointment and self-criticism. ENFJ, the protagonist. One of the best things about ENFJs is how empathetic and nurturing they are. Often our favorite mom friends, they have a natural talent for inspiring people and helping them reach their potential. But at their worst, 
ENFJs may hurt others in unintentional ways just to keep the harmony, like ignoring important issues or pressuring others to live up to their overly idealistic standards. INFJ, the advocate. Similar to the ENFJ, INFJs always strive for perfection, but their efforts are more directed inwards with themselves than outwards. So it's no surprise then that their worst personality trait is their toxic perfectionism and overthinking. Most INFJs struggle with analysis paralysis, meaning that they get in their heads too much, that it often makes them get in their own way. They become indecisive and struggle to leave room for the beautiful messiness and spontaneity of real life and imperfect people. INTJ, the architect. Although rational, self-sufficient, and extremely determined, INTJs who are too in touch with their thinking side and not enough with their feeling side often come across to others as arrogant, insensitive, overly critical, and dismissive of others. Unhealthy INTJs believe that they are superior to others and become aloof, selfish, and harsh because they think they have better things to do than care about other people's feelings all the time. ENTJ, the commander. ENTJs are nicknamed the commander because they're natural born leaders. Although efficient, strong-willed, and strategic thinkers, ENTJs who aren't careful can become domineering, intolerant, cold, and ruthless. That's because unhealthy ENTJs no longer care about how their words or decisions affect those around them as long as it's in pursuit of their own goals and their obsession with efficiency. ENTP, the debater. At their best, ENTPs balance a logical, rational mentality with an awareness of the needs of others. Enterprising, witty, and argumentative, ENTPs need to be careful not to seem like they're uncaring and just arguing for the sake of it. They can also be unabashedly critical towards others for being inefficient and incompetent and in times of emotional crisis will give unsolicited advice instead of comfort. INTP, the logician. Because INTPs are so intellectual and independent, they're often difficult to get close to and may struggle to connect with others on a deep emotional level. Their worst personality trait is that they have a tendency to get so caught up in their own logic that they fail to show others emotional consideration. Because of this, social interactions aren't really their forte, as they can often seem sarcastic and condescending to those who don't understand them. So, do you agree with the things we've mentioned here? What are some strengths and weaknesses to your personality type? Let us know in the comments below. And until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and see you in the next video, Psych2Goers.